YouTube SEO can be an absolute minefield. I've created videos using keyword research tools that have only generated 10 or 20 views. I've then created videos where I haven't used any keyword research tools that have got thousands, if not tens of thousands of views. So what's going on here? Well, during that process, I found a keyword research method that helped me get more consistent and reliable rankings on my YouTube video. And the best part, most of this you can do completely for free without using paid for tools. Let's dive straight in. So once we've got our chosen keyword that we know we want to try and rank for, the first thing to do is to come onto YouTube and use YouTube's auto suggestion search predictions. You can do this literally by typing in the beginning of your search. So you'll see here if we type in how to improve memory, we've got a whole bunch of different suggestions that come up here. It's also worth saying here that you wanna try and be as specific as possible with the keywords you're targeting because this will give you a much better chance of ranking. Particularly if you're a small channel, you're gonna find it very difficult to rank for bigger, broader keywords. So you see here for the search, how to improve memory, because this is quite a broad keyword, a lot of the top ranking videos on here are from very large channels. So when you start seeing those kind of numbers in the top three results, it's generally gonna be very, very hard for you as a smaller channel with less subscribers to outrank these videos. Instead, what we then wanna do is think about how can we narrow this search down or make it more specific? Or just think about some of the variations of this search that somebody might be typing in. So for example, maybe instead of how to improve memory, we could try how to stop forgetting things so easily. Now we see here, even though the top video has got 1 million subscribers, we're seeing much smaller channels within those top three results and this is generally a very good sign that we have a good opportunity to rank for this keyword one of the key things that I found out is that if you start seeing videos that are over one or two years old and they have less than 10,000 subscribers on the channel that's usually a very good indication that we have a really good chance of being able to rank for this keyword. If you start seeing videos that are over five years and channels that are even under a thousand subscribers, that's usually an even better sign. You'll see here in position four, actually, this is a video from nine years ago now, and this guy's only got 311 subscribers. So this is probably a very, very ripe keyword that we can be targeting. So what about keyword research tools then, and where do they come into all of this? Well, here's the thing, when you're using keyword research tools, a lot of the time they take your searches very literally. Keyword research tools are also notoriously bad at giving accurate search volume predictions when there are less than a thousand searches for a particular keyword. But if you know or you have a feeling that your customers would be searching for this and you can do the manual research and finding out how many views do these particular topics have on them, you can get a pretty good indication from just looking at some of the view counts alone on these videos here. By doing the manual process of actually looking at the view counts, looking at the age, looking at the subscriber counts, you can give yourself a serious advantage and go to places that your competitors aren't even looking. Now, to be clear here, I'm not saying that keyword research tools are bad and we still use a lot of these day to day. They've got some really great features like competitor research. So being able to see what kind of topics are most popular with your competitors, which can help to give you some ideas. You can even do things like get insights on your subscribers to better tailor and shape your videos by seeing what other channels they're subscribed to, what other videos they've liked or engaged with. But in my opinion, this becomes much more valuable as you grow into a larger channel. For newer creators or newer channels who are just looking to get their first hundred or their first several thousand subscribers, you're better off taking this manual approach because it's going to allow you to find those hidden opportunities that your larger competitors probably aren't seeing. However, one tool that you can use which combines the manual process as well as being able to augment some data on top of it is a tool called Keywords Everywhere. So Keywords Everywhere is an extension you can install for Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. And once you've got it installed, when you're looking up some of the suggested searches, you'll see it actually shows you some of the search volume. But as you're going through this, it's best to just use this as a rough guide and as a benchmark. 
because like I mentioned, the data tends to become horribly inaccurate when it's under several thousand searches a month. You'll see this one, for example, how to improve memory for students says it only gets 10 searches a month. Honestly, I don't believe that. And this is an opportunity where some of your competitors might be ignoring that because of what it says, but you might have a big opportunity here to be able to rank. I've created countless blogs on topics that keyword research tools have told me get zero searches a month only to find that those blogs then start ranking, bringing in thousands of visits every single month for those keywords that were supposedly getting no searches. Now, finding the right keyword is only half the battle because once you've got a video ranking, you can lose those rankings very quickly if you're not keeping your audience engaged. This is one of the main ranking factors that the YouTube algorithm is looking for is your video watch time. So in this video coming up next, I'm gonna show you how you can optimize your videos for watch time in order to maximize the success from your YouTube SEO efforts. I'll see you there.